My name is Asosa Ibrahi and my business is called Sosi Styles. It's all about modest fashion styling. So think modesty, but with a bit of flair, it incorporates your how you progress in life, your personal relationship with God and the outward reflection of those two together. So before the incubator, I was still uncertain as to how I wanted my business model to be, whether I was just going to be launching a fashion brand or whether it was going to be a brand in styling. If you see my first business plan, let's, let's not talk about it. You'd forget that I did business as a degree. With the internet, there's so much information out there. So I had followed a couple of creatives that I liked, seen their journey. I also followed some fashion entrepreneurs who also had their own startup incubator programs. But then I saw the price and I was like, mm, those don't look friendly. When I then heard about this one, I was just like, let me let me try. And it's. I think I thought that encouraged me the most part of friendly price was the fact that it was led by Christian entrepreneurs because I very much want to have Christianity as my centre for my brand. I think hard is if we're being realistic is the time commitment because I'm juggling this, I'm juggling my social life, I'm juggling my hobbies and I'm juggling work, full-time work. And finding the right time in a week just to at least unpack what I've learned and start implementing it. It's not the easiest, um, <clears throat> but I need to remember that I'm kind of like doing this onto God. After starting it, I feel like it's given me so many different stories to touch upon, to use as inspiration. It helps give that sense of community because the thing is, the life of an entrepreneur, can someone be a lonely one? because you feel like you're doing everything yourself and you kind of have to learn things whether you like it or not by yourself. But with this, there is a community, we're supporting each other, we're meeting up and planning our pitch decks together, we're throwing questions to each other and we're not scared that someone will steal someone else's idea. I've always been a diverse person, but I love finding out what people are working on and how I can help. And introducing them to people I already know that are either doing something like that or want to do something like that. So it's helped expand that reach a bit and to have people who are also further along the line in doing things that I want to do as well kind of helps. And um, yeah, I'm all about that. There are lots of values that I have embodied due to my faith. I want these values to be reflected in my brand. So because of that, I just it just certified that yes, I've seen people upon <laughs> these values Pulling these skills and still incorporate their faith into it, so why not? Everybody has their own style, and the truth of the matter is you don't lose your style or originality when you're walking with God. Even thinking beyond and knowing that all the ideas I want to incorporate, they're not with they're not beyond my reach. It's possible and maybe it's closer than I think. So I say do it. Just close your eyes, don't look at the commitment, don't look at anything, just do it honestly. Um Take that first leap of faith because one thing it will really help is give you a sense of direction and a sense of community, which shall both be. And then you have people praying for you as well. <laughs>